A dog bite and bogus information have left a Helena woman facing thousands of dollars in medical bills. Tonight, MTN's Melissa Jensen brings us the story. She was jogging in Centennial Park, had just finished her run, and was slowing down to catch her breath by the ball fields when she came upon a man and his two off-leash dogs. The larger one lunged, but it was the second dog, the smaller one, that bit her twice. She didn't realize the blood was already dripping down her leg as she got the man's name and number and had to leave to pick up her kids. She didn't immediately call police. Later, when she tried to contact the man to find out about the dog's vaccination status, she realized the information was fake. She says, First I felt shocked, and then I became extremely angry and betrayed. I felt that if he lied about his information, he probably lied about the vaccination as well. I felt a whirlwind of emotions. Helena Police Animal Control Officer Mike Maynard says, if you are bit, call police immediately. We want to get there to identify the dog and the dog owner and try to apprehend the dog if it's at large. Even if they don't think it's a serious thing, if they got bit, they should call us. Maynard says dog bites often come as a surprise not only to the victim, but to the pet owner as well. If I were to ask most of the people that were owners that had dogs that bitten, um, they would probably say, I never thought my dog would bite. So, but all dogs have the potential of biting for one reason or another. Animal Control Officer Mike Maynard says that when it comes to areas like Centennial Park, individuals, families, runners, walkers, pet owners, all have a right to be here. But he says it's up to the pet owners to make sure that their animal is leashed when they are here to help prevent these types of incidents from occurring. Dr. Heidi Wampler with Alpine Animal Clinic agrees. As an owner, especially in town, when there's a lot of people around, it's our responsibility to make sure we keep control of our animal at all times. That's what the leashes are for. That's what those extended leads are for. Dr. Wampler says if your dog bites someone, even if its vaccinations have lapsed, any information will help the victim. Hiding from what's happened only multiplies their pain and suffering. Here, my dog has been vaccinated for rabies several times. Here's proof of that, even if it's not current today. In the past, it's had that that vaccine um, and that helps a lot. The victim we spoke with wanted to remain anonymous, but she also wanted her story told to help prevent it from being repeated. She says, had this man given correct information, it would have saved so much heartache and money. If he had followed the park and city laws to begin with, none of this would have ever happened. Laws and rules are there for a reason. Even if you think they are silly, they are protecting others, she said. Melissa Jensen, MTN News, Helena. Now here in Billings, there are only a few off-the-leash dog parks, and Melissa also tells us it's a really good idea to have current records of your dog's vaccination handy because, as we all know, dogs can be unpredictable.